this is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time The B twist, also known as the butterfly twist This is a super cool variation on the B kick It's super chill, super snappy And you don't actually go all the way upside down If you're trying to get into twisting flips and tricks This is a great place to start Today's video is going to break down a super simple progression So you can learn how to do your first B twist today all right, Ninja Squad, what is going on? Welcome back to another video, Tricking Tutorial Summer 2022. If you guys are new to this series, what's going on? My name is Matt, and I'm going to teach you how to do tricks and flips this summer. This is just one of many tutorials that I've put out so far. If you want to check out a full list of the previous tutorials, I'll link the playlist right up here. We covered the back flip, the front flip, the side flip, cheat gainers, back handsprings, and a whole intro to tricking tutorial. I highly recommend you go watch those if you want to learn how to flip. So today's video is going to be all about the butterfly twist, aka the B twist. Now, last Last week we covered the butterfly kick so that is a prerequisite for this move so if you haven't seen that already make sure pause this video go back to last week's butterfly kick tutorial make sure you watch that make sure you can do the B kick itself then come back to this video and you're ready to learn the B twist so like I said in the beginning the B twist is actually really unique because you're going horizontally it is not really a flip it's not really like a twist you're basically spinning horizontal to the ground and you never actually invert all the way so if you're scared of going over your head this is a really good twisting move for you guys to start learning this is actually the first twisting move that I learned now before we get into the progression if you find this video helpful make sure give me a thumbs up so I know I'm doing a good job make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another trick and tutorial we still have a few coming out this summer and let me know in the comments what trick and tutorial you want to see next and I'll try to make it happen as always if you want to support the channel make sure check out video description link get yourself a ninjatic tank top and let's get into the video all right so like I mentioned before step number one make sure you can already do the butterfly kick now I'm not gonna break down a tutorial for that move in this video because I already have a whole tutorial on it so make sure you go watch it but essentially you want to be feeling comfortable enough with your B kick we're getting enough height and overall floaty time in the air where you feel like you do have enough time to add a variation to it so at this point you should be feeling comfortable with the B kick and it should look something like this now the biggest thing to remember when you're doing this is to drive that back leg up and again you can find more details about the B kick in the tutorial but in order to do the B twist you're gonna need height so make sure you're really driving that back leg up getting your chest nice and high off the ground when you take off and you're gonna have more time to do the twist our right, step number two we are going to start doing the twist so basically how you're going to do this is walk into your butterfly kick setup and you're gonna do a 360 out of it it doesn't need to be upside down or horizontal or anything like that just rotate in I covered the 180 step entrance last video so that's the technique I'm gonna use I recommend you use this to start as well so 180 step and then you're just gonna do a vertical 360 now that should be pretty simple for most people so if you're feeling comfortable with that start to add the dip make sure you're doing the dip raising your chest up and then starting to do the twist all right it's gonna make it a little more similar to the actual entrance for the butterfly twist now my biggest tip for this is basically make sure if you're having trouble getting the twist around make sure you pull those arms in okay it's gonna take a lot of practice to understand the timing make it feel more comfortable so you know when to wrap for the twist when you're coming up out of the setup but play around with it try to do one with your arms kind of stretched out feel how slow the rotation is and then try to pull your arms in a little bit at a time feeling that you can speed it up and now you're just gonna need to play around with it until you feel like you have a nice snappy motion of pulling your arms in just at the right time as you're reaching like that peak height all right guys so that's basically the majority of the progression step number three you're just gonna progress this by lifting up that back leg in my case is my right leg drive it up more and more and more try to get yourself super horizontal super flat each time you don't need to just chuck this I mean you can if you want if you have access to mats or pads of some sort I highly recommend you use them but otherwise you can totally learn this on the ground and you're basically just gonna drive up with that back leg try to spot the ground with your eyes a little bit more each time and it's gonna help keep your chest down now I'm not gonna lie this can be really scary especially if it is your first twisting move all right you're probably gonna feel super out of whack feel off balance and that's totally okay something that might help is try to do the setup and then you're gonna tuck and roll onto the ground like you're doing a barrel roll. The thing you wanna remember about doing the beat twist is that you need to be nice and horizontal if you can, okay? Imagine that somebody has a pole sticking through the top of your head 
out your butt. All right, and that pole needs to look directly at the camera. Well, in this case, the camera, but wherever you are spotting, okay? It needs to be like this. The flatter it is, the more you're gonna rotate around that pole, okay? If the pole is tipped a little up, your head is too high and it's too far above your feet, you're gonna be more vertical like this and it's gonna look like you're just doing a 360. Now, on the other hand, if you dip a little bit too low, that's more of like an aerial twist, okay? The A twist is a separate move and we're not learning that right now, but if you can do that, nice job. You got a two for one in this video. But overall, guys, there you have it. That is your B twist tutorial, all right? Now, this move can be really challenging, especially if it is your first twisting move. So don't be super discouraged if you're having a hard time with this. Like I said before, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give me a thumbs up so I know I'm doing a good job and go check out my most recent video right here. Also link to the full playlist. Again, if you wanna go check those out, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you wanna learn how to be a ninja this year and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.